am sharing eight benefits of traveling and getting out with your young kids. Hi guys, I'm Regan and here on my YouTube channel and on my blog, jetsetterstravel.com, I share tips for traveling and getting out and about with your young kids. I personally think that getting out with my kids drastically improves my life. You don't have to travel far or spend a lot of money to get out with your kids and experience the benefits that come along with that. You could go find a new park in your town that you've never been to or go to a coffee shop that has some kids toys or go on a hike or a walk. There are so many different things you can get out and do with your kids that are completely free and don't require you to travel very far. I stay home with my kids so I am with them a lot and I just feel like all of us are happier and in better moods when we get out and do something even if it's something super simple. My kids fight less, they're less whiny, and then they sleep better so it's just an all-around win for us. I know it's a lot taking kids out. You have to pack all the things and load it into the car and then you have to buckle everyone in and it can seem overwhelming at times to get out with your kids, but practice makes progress and I really think it gets easier the more that you do it. So today I'm sharing eight benefits of traveling and getting out with your young kids. New experiences and hands-on learning. Number one is when your kids are out and about, they are really eating new foods. They're hearing new words, different sounds, lots of different sights. They see people who look different. If they're talking, they're probably asking you questions about anything and everything that they see. There's a lot of real world learning that can happen, even if it's just taking your kids out to the grocery store or on a walk around your neighborhood. That's my favorite kind of learning because you don't even have to put any thought or effort into it and your kids are reaping the benefits. Number two, it teaches patience and flexibility and that's for us and our kids. When you're traveling or out doing things, sometimes things don't go according to plan and you often have to adapt and make changes and be flexible. I think that's an important skill for all of us to learn, including our kids. Traveling and getting out with your kids also teaches patience, whether it's waiting in line at the store, waiting in line to board an airplane, even driving places in the car. Your kids can get used to not having constant entertainment. They have to entertain themselves by talking to you or looking out the window. I think that teaches patience and it's kind of good for them to be a little bit bored at times. Number three is you get to have fun and live your life to the fullest. Bring your kids along doing the things that you love, whether you love traveling, you like going on walks, you like hiking, going to your favorite store or coffee shop. You don't have to give up those things once you have kids. Just bring them along with you. Yes, it will be a bit different when you bring your kids with you. You might move a bit slower and you probably won't be as relaxed, but it can still be a lot of fun. For young kids are often free or cheaper to travel with and go places with. Kids under two fly for free. A lot of museums, zoos, aquariums, that kind of thing let kids who are under a certain age in for free or at a reduced price. A lot of times their meals are cheaper. You know, everyone thinks it's fun to get a little bit of a deal. Number five, you have more flexibility when your kids are young. Before you know it, they'll be in school, they'll be in all the activities, they'll want to hang out with their friends instead of you. So take advantage of this time when you are their whole world and they want nothing more than to spend their time with you. Number six, it teaches us perseverance. Yes, I know, getting out with your kids can be really hard sometimes, but it teaches us that we can do hard things and we can make it through challenging times. I sweat the small stuff a whole lot less now. Tantrums, meltdowns in public, those can be really stressful in the moment. But when you get home, you realize, you know, it really wasn't that bad and all kids do it. It's not just your kid, even though it can feel like it at times. Be proud of yourself for getting through the challenging times and for getting out and enjoying time with your kids. That's brave and you're doing awesome. Number seven, you realize there are a lot of great people in this world. When I'm out with my kids and struggling to push a stroller through a doorway, people will hold the door for me. They'll give me a smile. They'll tell me I'm doing great. I feel like every time that we've boarded a plane with our kids, we have the stroller, the car seat, way too many bags, you know, fold up our stroller for us. So they'll take a bag for us. There's always people, sure, there's always going to be some haters out there, but just ignore them and know that the majority of people have been in your shoes and they understand and are often willing to help. And number eight, the best for last, you get to spend quality time together. Some of my favorite memories are going on trips as a family, going on family walks, just playing outside with my kids, going to a new park. I mean, it can be really simple. 
but when we do these things and we get out, you can eliminate a lot of distractions. I'm not looking at my phone. No one's watching TV. There's not a dishwasher I need to empty or a load of laundry I need to switch, something I need to clean. You know, when I'm at home, there's always a million things I'm trying to do. So when I get out or when we're traveling, you know, you're fully present with your kids and you're just enjoying your time together. All right, so those are the eight reasons why you should travel and get out with your kids. Yes, it's hard, but I promise you it's totally worth it. I hope you agree and I hope you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe to my channel if you want more content on traveling and getting out with your young kids. See you next time.